revelation, show me something to do. To do. My brother's a pastor in Florida, and I love this state. He says the Bible's not made to be a rule book. It's made to be a book of revelation. See, we are a spiritual being in a lot of stuff in the flesh. And especially our mind, a lot of stuff piled on top and piled on top. And so the abundance of God the abundance that we've been gifted and given as far as innate inside of us. Everything is 100%. Always. Always present. Always there. Always available. But what I realized is, man, I got a lot of stuff up here. And I also realized that when I'm subluxating, how less clear I really am. Yesterday's adjustment project, I mean, it really confirmed and it, it was an experiential experience that just, it just revealed to me the truth of that. So next, Jackie gets checked. And let me tell you, before and after that adjustment, my wife was a completely different person. And, and she's shaking her head. And so I thought, how, how more spiritual does it get than that? I mean, think about it. You know, my Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ. Most of you know that. What was Jesus doing? Setting people free. Setting people free. I got set free yesterday with that adjustment. Jackie got totally set free. I mean, we could go on and on and on with a story about what's <laughs> with the pregnancy. And anyways, what is that really about? Getting set free. Think about it. What was it before and after that adjustment? What was it before and after that thought that might have came into your brain when someone was speaking? Like all of a sudden it was like, bingo. And then you shifted, you changed. What was that? I think it's about letting go, shedding, integrating. Moving through, moving in, connection. And I want to show you a clip of uh, a statement in here that to have victory, your circumstances do not have to change in your life to have victory. The point of that is this. What is victory? Patty showed a clip. You know, if, if you were judging this woman externally and where she came from and lived and how she was dressed or whatever was going on through people's minds and they're kind of sneering at her. And she came out and she sang a song and everyone was in tears. I was sniveling over there. With the video camera. I'm sure if I upload the YouTube clip on New Beginnings of YouTube site, you'll hear me sniffling. What is victory? Victory is an acknowledgement, a recognition of the greatness that is inside of us, that is available to us 100% of the time, that's there all the time. Victory is getting out of the way, being an empty vessel and letting it come through. I want to show you a man, young man, that brought me to tears with some victory here. Josh, can you help him? No, it's not playing. <laughs> The, this one that's up right now, just hit play. You can hit the lights. My name is Nick Vujicic, and uh, I'm from Australia. And uh, this morning, I want to share with you my testimony as to how God has given me great strength and comfort through my disability, and how you can have victory, peace, and joy in your life. If the circumstances are still present in your life that don't make sense or cause your world to turn upside down. <laughs>
his circumstances didn't change. In this video, we don't have time to show it. You can YouTube it. In this video, he talks about how he used to pray. Please, give God, give me arms and legs. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be a testimony to how we really, really are? But what he got was grace and mercy and an acknowledgement that he has everything he needs. In that realization, in that acknowledgement, in that letting go and just letting God come through, this young man is doing a mighty work. So can you play the next video, Josh? And, and here's part of the mighty work he does. Find that strength to get back up. 